there and now you look nice too. Hello, thank you so much for being here. I am updating you on my Phalaenopsis Schilleriana because approximately, well, maybe it was a year ago, if not a little bit more than that, I posted a video where I addressed what I considered a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana phenomenon. Specifically about why does a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana dump a leaf every time it starts new root growth and then possibly another leaf when a new leaf starts. So basically every time a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana does something when it comes to active growth, an older leaf is sacrificed. So leading up to that video, I explained that I was upping the parts per million of cow mag that I was giving my orchid as a preventative measure to give the orchid more calcium, more magnesium to be able to then hold on to a leaf if it were to be the case that it was always absorbing a leaf based on active growth coming and it needed the nutrients. I went from the original 60 parts per million that most of my orchids get as a supplement once a month, including seaweed. And I started that for approximately four to six weeks before I anticipated the orchid to come into active growth. So I upped that and I went up to 160, round about there. I wasn't being stingy. Continued that once a month and I didn't have a result. Lo and behold, the next growth cycle, I had another leaf being absorbed while it then kicked into active growth. I kind of figured, well, okay, hey, that is what the Phalaenopsis Schilleriana phenomenon is all about. That's why I pointed it out in a video specifically. Now I just want to put it out there that my Schilleriana was growing well. It always bloomed at the right time of year. There was never anything wrong with it. One year I did recognize that the blooms were a little bit smaller, but I thought, well, environmental issues could be the reason. As long as the rest of the orchid was looking fine and behaving normally, why am I bothering? Well, you know, <laughs> when you have beautifully mottled leaves like these, why settle for three when maybe you could have four or possibly five? So you see, Every time I had three leaves on the orchid, active growth would kick in and then I'd be left with two leaves and the newest leaf growing would make up the third leaf. I would get the second leaf of the season in my climate and then the next lowest leaf would drop. So I was always left with three. Well, here's the update. I'm at that time of year where this orchid should only have three leaves because she is maturing her second leaf now already, having grown the first one throughout the summer months. There has not been a single leaf drop on this orchid during the 2022 growth season, and I hope I don't jinx it now, but we have had incredible root growth. The first flush of roots came out. We have had two leaves growing. I have now got again a second flush of new roots coming out. So far, not a single old leaf has dropped. And what I did differently for the growing season of 2022 even though in my past video I said I would settle <laughs> and leave it be, I just couldn't let it go. I had to try something different. What I did differently was soak the orchid twice a month, once with calcium nitrate and once with CalMag and seaweed. The calcium nitrate was at 160 parts per million, as was the CalMag. The difference being from 2021 to 2022 is I soaked the orchid. I put the solution in, left it for as long as I can remember or didn't forget. Obviously not a full day, but you know, I'm not going to say 30 minutes when I would be running around doing my errands and maybe come back five hours later and then drain the pot. In 2021, all I did was put the supplement solution into the reservoir, just upped the parts per million, but I never soaked. And in 2021, I also did not give any calcium nitrate. So roll on 2022, four beautiful leaves, even if the two new ones aren't as long as the older ones, yet maybe they will grow and elongate further. But if not, that doesn't matter. I have accomplished what I thought I couldn't accomplish. And that is the orchid has four leaves, two new leaves growing, the expected first flush of new roots coming when the timing and the season was correct. This second flush of roots has never happened with this Schilleriana ever before. Today, she had another soak of CalMag and seaweed at 160 parts per million and I only just drained the pot for filming. I don't see a flower spike forming yet, but oh my goodness two root systems within one year. And if you're thinking your Schilleriana should be dropping leaves because that's the nature of the orchid, the way I thought about it a year ago, 
Well, maybe you might want to try soaking the supplements and then pouring any excess out and leaving the remainder of the supplements in the pot. Or if you're growing in organic media, you may just want to soak the pot with the supplements and then flush the pot out after you're done soaking. I believe that that made the difference, giving the orchid time to absorb as well as grow without having to absorb, find it down there in the reservoir to then move it up a little bit further through the structures. The nutrient solution was immediately accessible and available and lo and behold, result. I will update, of course, to see if my blooms will be a little bit bigger this time around. Just want to make mention that my Chiliriana is from the Philippines, not the Malaysian kind. And the Philippine variety is a little bit smaller than the Malaysian variety is. So what you see here is a leaf span that is new. It's already 25 centimeters. And the older ones down here, they reach easily 32, maybe 33 centimeters. That is the longest I have ever had on this orchid. Pretty pleased with myself, I have to say. Pretty pleased with my Shilleriana as well. I am pretty confident just to put it out there. You want your Shilleriana to hold onto the leaves, soak the supplements, and you'll get yourself something like this. <laughs> I can tell you I am so glad I didn't back down and just settle for it is what it is. And now I look forward to seeing a new spike forming and then eventually have those gorgeously fragrant rose smelling Phalaenopsis Shilleriana blooms in my indoor grow space again. I hope this was helpful to someone and if you believe it was for you, let me know if you are going to give it a go and then also keep me updated on any progress or if you have any questions, the comments are there for a reason. A like would be appreciated as would be a share or if you haven't subscribed, I would also appreciate that you would subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out a lot. Thank you so, so much in advance and thank you also for watching. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. All right, there you go. I know you missed them, but at least you're cleaner than the others are right now. <laughs> yes, you're on the top shelf. A little bit more light will do you a load of good. Thank you so much for letting me film you.